Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. For those of you just joining us, my name is Alfred, and this is Capital City Aquatics. In today's video, I'm going to be going through um, some changes that I've made to the fish room. I've had to add tanks. I've had to stop the design of one of my tanks because of a minor hiccup that I'm in the process of getting uh, repaired. And I've gotten a lot of new plants, uh, some new bristlenose plecos, and a large quantity of new endlers. Um, this is all from um, a tank that I broke down. Um, people no longer wanted to run it. So I took the plants, the fish, and everything, and I've now implemented them into my fish gallery. So I'll quickly go through and show you what I've added. Um, I've had to uh, quickly throw together a new tank for some plants and uh, we'll just take a look at everything. Um, I'll ask if you haven't already done so folks to please subscribe to the channel. Um, getting much closer to the 200 mark. I um, hope to break that soon. And uh, like the video if you like these type of videos and hit the notification bell so that when I come out with new videos, uh, you're the first to know. All right, so this is the 50 gallon that I had originally was hoping to put everything in, but the center brace cracked on it while I was filling it up. So I had to empty it and I'm now waiting for the repair part to be sent to me. Um, when that is sent, um, I will continue with the setup here but uh, yeah, this was the project I was working on um, it's on the new stand and everything it's good to go except the center brace for the top frame uh, cracked when I was filling it up with water so I quickly had to readjust all right so this is one of my adjustments that I had to make I quickly set up a 40 breeder um, it's got a sand substrate on the bottom and as you can tell it's got a lot of plants in it um, these are all plants that i've taken from the tank that i broke down earlier today so you have lots of java moss and java fern in here and then we also have the fish in this tank now the filter in the back here, as you can see, I have a sponge filter. This has been running in my 50 gallon guppy tank for a little over a week. Um, I've added uh, some stability in here and some prime to help uh, with the cycling. And then all of these plants, of course, will come with beneficial bacteria and the rocks as well. So there should be plenty of beneficial bacteria in here. Now this tank obviously has too many plants. So over the next few weeks, I'll be aquascaping it uh, to look a little better. But uh, yeah, this is uh, something I had to put together uh, because my 50 wasn't uh, gonna work for me at the time. And uh, with the plants that I took out of the other tank, which was a 90, uh, was just too much. So this tank does have a large supply of plants in here. And I'll show you what I did with the rest of them. All right, this is a 10 gallon that I had my uh, mud guppies in. And again, I had to throw a lot of my additional plants that I took out of the 90 gallon into this tank so we'll, again this tank is very crowded with plants um, I have someone coming by today who's going to perhaps take some of the plants with him so that should open up some space for me and uh, that uh, that'll be a good thing because again um, this plank did tank is way too crowded now um, don't have a lot of swimming space for my guppies um, I have a lot of hiding spaces, but uh, hopefully I can open this up and uh, provide them with a little more swimming room. But uh, this is just a temporary 
until um, I can properly place all of my Java moss in my Java fern. And then this is another tank. Um, I literally just threw this one together. There are no fish in here, but I do have quite a bit of uh, the Java ferns, as you can tell. And then in the back here, I have a clump of Java moss. And this is just in a tank. Um, I have spare heaters and spare filters, so I was able to just throw this together. And uh, this is just basically holding the plants until I can uh, get things properly set up. But uh, in the meantime, I'm providing them with adequate lighting. As you can tell, everything is uh, receiving some light. So this should hold it for now until I can get things properly set up. Once I do, I'll obviously be showing you um, the new setups. Uh, just looking to build some racks right now for my tanks. And I took one of my um, better looking Java ferns and just placed it in my 20 gallon blue Moscow tank. Um, I have to clean this up as well, but uh, just threw this in here. Um, again, everything that I was putting together was getting a little crowded and this tank had room. So I just threw a fairly nice um, adult Java fern plant in my 20 gallon with my blue Moscow's. I, uh, considering leaving this plant in here, it's very nice and uh, it's got plenty of room to, uh, to expand. So I'll uh, probably be just cleaning this up a little bit, removing the blue gravel in the bottom and just leaving this plant in here to, uh, to thrive. And just another note, my Blue Moscow males are doing extremely well. I have uh, about nine of them in this tank right now. And uh, my breeding project um, is went quite well. My females should be producing their fry uh, within the next couple of weeks. So I'll be expecting um, hopefully some more males since I did do the... Uh, the whole process at around 80 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, we'll see if the theory that uh, warmer temperatures lead to more males is true. So I'll update you in a future video on how that went. All right everyone so that's just a quick video. Um, I have lots of work ahead of me to get those tanks uh, aquascaped a little better. Uh, definitely be working on getting some stands built over the next couple of days and uh, get everything set up to a more desirable look. And I'll be updating you obviously as the process goes along. But uh, for now, uh, just a quick scramble to find um, homes for the plants. Um, there's a lot of them in that tank that I broke down this morning, as well as fish, but uh, Everything moved into my 40 quite nicely. And then the plants I had to spread around simply because there was too much, but uh, definitely looking forward to getting things set up a little better once my 50 uh, is repaired and I can get that up and running. Um, again, that's another video I'll, uh, I'll share with you at a future date. But uh, thank you for joining me and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.